guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I have another two-page 12 by 12 scrapbook layout that I want to share with you today. And I'm still going with the game theme because of quarantine, and if you have little children, I don't anymore, <laughs> you might like to put uh, together these game layouts because there's probably a lot of that going on in your house. And it helps me get caught up on my layouts that I'm many, many years behind on. I'm starting with a piece of 12 by 12 black cardstock. Then I have a piece of 11 and a half by 11 and a half white cardstock that I've put down. And I've got photo corners that I've cut at 2.79 by 2.79 inches. And this comes from the Cricut cartridge the first few years. And I am going to lay these down in the corners of my layout. I'm just lining them up with the white layer. And I've got four of them. And my nails are so long, and obviously all the nail salons are closed, so I can't go do something about them. And it makes it difficult to pick up anything and they're driving me crazy. I'm going to have to figure out how they're my real nails, but they're painted with that S&S &S nail polish and it makes it next to impossible to get off. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that off my nails so I can start picking things up again. I can't even type. <laughs> they're so long. I'm having to do the hunt and peck method, and I hate that method. <laughs> it's so slow. I've been a typist for eons. So there's my four photo corners. And then my next uh, image that I'm going to lay down is my title, Mouse Trap, and it came out so cute. And it's cut at 5.95 by 4.45. I'll leave a link in the description box below um, of, of the images and where you can get them because everything else comes from Treasure Box Designs. And I'm going to lay this down flat as well. And I'm going to angle it right up here at the top. And then my next is my photo mat. I got a 12 that is four and a half by six and a half and the red is four and a quarter by six and a quarter which will hold a four by six photo and I'm going to put it right down here now my next image is my little mouse holding the marble in the bathtub to drop down the structure. <laughs> oh, lost my words. And I am going to, on his little arms, I did pop those up on foam tape. And I'm going to use some glue. And then I'm going to use wet glue for the rest of it because it's such teeny tiny images. Or tiny um, not images, but small <clears throat> things. And um, this little, this image here, I did cut all together. And I cut it at 6.82 by 8.28. And this was another super easy layout to cut and paper piece together. And there, all of my images are paper pieced. Do a little bit more 
more glue on that one. Pop him right there. <clears throat> and then this little squiggly, I don't know what else to call it, but the little squiggly that the O in mouse is, I duplicated it several times and I um, cut the big one at um, 1.8. Eight zero by two point one seven. And obviously, got to get some wet glue on there. And I'm going to pop it right up here. I was just trying to fill in some of the blank space. And then the small ones I cut at the same size, and those are cut at 1.17 by 1.14. We'll get those right there. Staying with the primary colors with all of them. I'm going to pop it right there. A fun, fun, and simple, easy layout. And that finishes the left side. Now let's move over to the right side. And right side, I've done exactly the same way. The black 12 by 12, white 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and then my photo corners I've already placed down in all of the areas. And then I have my little mouse here on the ledge that I'm going to pop right here. And I'm going to use my ATG gun. A little bit here too. I don't want to tear it apart, so I'm going to use some wet glue. To get him laying down a little better. And I'm going to put him right here. And I did his little paws that popped up on foam tape as well. And then I have another 4x6 photo mat that I'm going to lay down. his feet unglued on purpose because I want it to come them to hang over my photo mat. That I'm going to place right there. Then I have the little tub of water and it's cut at 3.17 by 2.26 and then I added a little squiggly to it because I thought it made it look cuter. And I'm going to put it down here. And then my next image is my little mouse with the cage and the cheese. And he turned out so cute. And he's cut at, oh, the, this one here that's sitting on the little, um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting my words because it's been so long. He's cut at 4.51 by 4.74. 
and my tub was 3.17 by 2.26 and then th this little mouse and cheese cage is cut at 4.27 by 6.40 now I'm going to flip him over and put my ATG on the big pieces and then I'll use my wet glue for the smaller pieces Okay, now let's get him flipped over. And I'm going to put him right here. And then his little uh, arms and hands and this little leg, I do have popped up on dimensional foam tape as well. super cute and then I have three more squigglies to do as well and I'm going to put my big blue one down first and these are cut as at the same dimensions as they were on the other page that one there And then the yellow one and the red one. And that completes my mouse trap layout. Let's bring in the other side so that you can see them together. Really cute, don't you think? <laughs> I hope so. I hope you don't I hope you give it a try. Don't be intimidated by the little teeny pieces. It goes together and comes together so simple and so easy and it was a blast to put together. I hope you guys really give it a try. Thanks for watching and spending a little bit of time with me. I really appreciate it. Cheers!